Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacat. In this video, I'm going to share a simple design tip for Power BI, which is very effective. Uh, and it is about auto detect relationship in Power BI. It sometimes happens when you add a new table to your model, then suddenly uh, a whole lot of new connection automatically creates a lot of new relationship, which you have no idea how they have been created and you don't want that situation to happen, I'm going to talk about how to disable it and how that is going to happen actually. Let's see. In Power BI, when you have data in over multiple tables, you need to kind of create a relationship between them. Uh, like for example, I have a customer table with customer key uh, and I have also a fact table which has sales information. One of the columns of this table is also a customer key, which is uh, the way that I can connect these two tables. Now Power BI has this really good thing that when you load tables into Power BI, uh, in addition to load that data in memory, one of the steps that it goes through is actually creating the relationship between the tables, uh, automatically detecting the relationship. Uh, as you have seen, there was a really fast step passing through. Now, if I go to the relationship diagram or to the model diagram, I see that there's a relationship between these two tables created by the customer key here and the customer key there. The source of this data is from Excel, so we can be sure that there is no relationship between tables over there. This is automatically created based on the field names, the values in each uh, table, uh, values to be unique in one of the tables, to have multiple in the other one would create like one too many relationship, the direction of that. So it follows some rules to create that relationship. Now this auto detect relationship is normally a good thing, especially if you have a large model, um, like you don't want to create every single relationship. But that only works well when you have a model that is designed really well. Like for example, you have tables, you have the link between each tables, the, the field names are matching somehow. Uh, all those uh, rules are applying, which doesn't really happen most of the time in a Power BI implementation. A lot of time I see people using like Excel with some tables uh, which mm, their column names are uh, similar across all different sheets, all different entities, and that would cause uh, some chaos, some like a lot of extra relationships which shouldn't be there. Like for example, let's say in this model, if I go and add another table, and let's say that table is dim reseller, now, um, I have a column named ID in many of those tables. What I do now, uh, I, I'm going to just rename this column to be ID, one of these columns to be ID. Now imagine data comes this way. So data actually have an ID here and I also have ID column in many other columns as well. And their values might also match in some cases. So I might get data really like that. And even without any transformation, when I load it into Power BI, it suddenly caused a lot of relationship. You see there are many new relationships created. When I go to this new table, I see this is a table and it has relationship to employee, which shouldn't, relationship to the product, which again shouldn't, relationship to geography. But the one that should really have happened is that this should have been related to the reseller sales table. So because um, the column name here is called ID, column name ID is in other tables as well, this Power BI automatically creates that relationship. Sometimes that causes creating relationships which are inactive. Sometimes it creates like both directional relationships. So it, it is not a good practice to leave that auto detect relationship unless you have a really well designed uh, table model unless you have a really well-designed model. So what I would recommend is that you uh, go to the file, options and settings options. You can turn off this automatic detect relationship that's under current file data load. Um, that is over here. 
all the relationship configurations i would recommend these two to be unchecked one of them is whenever you add uh, when, whenever you refresh data you don't want the automatic detect relationship happens again another one is this one whenever you uh, <coughs> whenever you add a new uh, table basically the first one you can leave that on that is when you have relationship in the source then you create that in the uh, um, like power bi creates that so if you don't have that relationship in the source it wouldn't impact you so if i go and uncheck this option i click on okay i'm going to remove this and this time if i go and add that table even if that table is um is coming with a column name that exists in the other tables like if I, even if I say this is column name ID, which exists in other tables, when I close and apply, because there is no automatic detection of the relationship, there will no there will be no relationship created. So then I can go and connect it to the right place that it should be connected, which in this case is somewhere here, reseller key and the ID of that. So this is the relationship that should be created. All other relationships are not needed. So instead of first adding the table, seeing like 10 extra relationships created, removing them, you can go ahead and disable that, as I mentioned in the options, and then have a better design. Uh, this is my recommendation. It's case by case, of course, things are different, but it is good to turn off that auto detect relationship, especially if you don't have a good uh, modeling experience, um, design, uh, skill set yet, and you are beginner level at that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have uh, weekly videos of Power BI.